BP Peppy wanted to bring the heat. Buster's going to push mid. Yeah, the Peppa Jammers were ruined. We do apologize for that. Not a problem. Buster looks to accelerate the pace here, and he's going to get a little bit more than he bargained for. Speed hack almost. His speed hack removes him from the round. Now the pressure's being put on the connector. It's going to be the side of Joe. And really and truly, Oof. after a TK, Adrin takes down Jame and then ultimately falls. This yeah. is not gone well. Yeah, this would be VP and a massive advantage without that kill. Geo has just dropped lower, and that's actually helpful because now B has been taken. Sanji trying to put a stop to it, but he has no idea how deep Lollipop has gotten, who should be able to cut off this rotation off Kicker, who watches for it, but as he looks away, gets re-peaked, and that's going to leave Sanji in this clutch. One on three in the pistol round. That's a tap and a low player in the apps as well. No kit for Sanji, no kit in the round, and he's just going to lose his head. Box with a quick kill. And Amiga take the pistol. Ready for a player to be this deep, considering how fast they got cat. It's a double setup Buster with the first and AK at their feet. And the only AK in the round. This is a winnable round now for BP, and Buster's making it happen. Two kills off the Deeg. Jane follows up. They never saw the second player. And now it's a B split that Adren can hold down. He's dropped the bomb. Speed at coming in from apartments with one, but even with Adren being low, Jame is not. And he can clear it up with the AK-47. That one gun on the Amiga. Riding down under Palace, that nade doing good damage onto Lollipop. The kicker pushes on the back of it, only good for one. He does get the info that players have gotten out through the ramp area. Jame tagging up another, and that's just softened these guys up for the players hitting close down towards stairs. Speedak in the meantime oh, has no. made has gained ground over in middle. This is kind of falling apart for VP. Adren now looking to rise to the occasion, but he's all alone. Jame's been digged out of CT spawn. And these force by wars certainly are heating up. Namiga about to take their second round here, unless Adren has anything to say about it. And he will Ooh. deal with Jaya. So now it's down to this 1v2. But MDS down inside of the site retrieves that AK. Gonna try and give this their best go. Now, you know, they do still have the firepower advantage. Buster not able to get away with the kill down at the ramp area. And now they're looking spurred on, but Adren has dealt with the Palace man. Jame has dropped Speedak, Orp v Orp, and Jame comes out on top. Box now trying to get in, but he's not checked under Palace, and that could be his downfall there. He's is gone as well, and all the way just messed that word up, but... I mean, I did mess it up. I just pluralized every word in the sentence. But let's see. <laughs> now, on a bit of a swivel, but ultimately it's going to be VP winning that, that four spy round. Think of VP. Not really a Mirage team. No, a hundred percent. Not but as of late. Let's see if they can hold on to the A bomb site. Jame does get that trade almost immediately. And that's gonna leave us in a four on four. This is the force by from the Miga. So this bomb plant is a bit of a necessity, Oof. and it gets denied. Wow. Jame and Buster both finding a man through different smokes. That's impressive. As they now sit with a pretty big lead, Lollipop double peek from CT spawn, and it is just MDS left standing in a 1v3. A lot on his plate here, two players back in CT spawn, and oh, no. Jay might just have this one dead to rights, and indeed he does. Perfect peek from Jay. As long as he keeps his element of surprise, which he oh. doesn't, he gets absolutely removed. Wow. And he's good for two as well, Sanji though. A bit of a plan of his own. But where will this op end up at the end of the round? Sanji continues to keep Virtus Pro in this one. Just too alive for Namiga Gaming. Now the retake of the A site is here, but check this out. This la 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 lollipop is going to get popped by Buster. That's it. Just MDS and Speed Act to try to hold down this bomb site. The more time that ticks away, they really have caused a bit of chaos here in what has been the retake. But should come through with ease. A little bit more confident in taking some of this microaggression on the ramp, uh, on the map rather, because it's helped them a lot in the rounds whenever they have. And this Ooh. one, they've allowed Box to make his way out through the connector. No one keeping an eye on it. He's going to go ahead and clear ramp, and with good reason. This has been a position that VP have been looking to take. Yeah, he's not he alone hasn't either. cleared under Palace, however, and that's a nice easy shot for Kicker. There is a man up above him who now drops down into the maws of the beast below. And it's just wow. Lolly, uh, it's Speed Act, rather. So and basically, he gets dealt with. On the back of it, Jame holding the stairs. Ooh. 
And now getting dropped from the connector. This connector area is becoming a real problem for VP. Like, they're 8-4 up, so I don't think it matters. But, it, but in a way, it matters. Like, it matters to me. Yeah. And so maybe that means it matters. They keep losing players from this connector flank. And once again, it's MDS to deliver three kills from this position. Sanji and Kicker left up in this two-on-four. And Kicker trying to get the drop on these players in the site, using Ooh. this smoke as a bit of a makeshift one way. And it does end up being his one way ticket to death. Rotate, release another man in the form of James. Here's the push, here's the commitment. They're already in the site, but Box is removed straight away. The Famas winning only one. James is dropped by Speedax AWP as well in the apartments. And so a four on three with a quick flank available. A drain can slip the knife in the back, but he'll just take the quick shot. Speedax dead, and now three more in the site. It's a headshot angle, car is everything. The timing for MDS, but he lets go of Crouch. Mm. He can do exactly that. Dropping a Dren, leaving two, and with no kit for VP, this might just be done. If they want to go for it. So much time already having ticked off this bomb. Really doesn't leave their cup running over with options here for VP. Kicker in a 1v2 that he just can't seem to find the kills in. Everyone hides, everyone dodges it. We got the music out of the way, and now we're ready to jump back into what is Mirage. A quick action here, a very fast action from the side of Virtus Pro. Looking to show their praise, their presence, and maybe even sing some of their own praises throughout the B halls. Welcome back to the SL1 Road to Rio. This is a quarterfinal for the CIS bracket. Of course, I'm Trace, and also with my multiple personalities, I'm Harry and Hugo as well. Talk other personalities. Hi. Hello. Hi. And now I'm back again. And he's picked the one position that currently VP might not be ready for. Send Kicker down here towards Catwalk, and that is going to keep the attention of Namiga at the B bomb site. Lollipop nice. gets caught leaving the ramp, and this will be a bomb plant. Two on four for MDS. Yeah. And VP just kill him inside of A. So, really nice round of just, you know, giving misinformation to your opponents. B has forced oh, a rotation dear. from Namiga. Lollipop going aggressive at wow. ramp again, and this time he's gone deeper than ever before. Jane gets caught. The rest of the gang down here towards ramp and this A split still looking to come through, but it's Namiga in a four on two right now. Box has been spotted Ooh. and he is getting away with damage. He's going back in for more, just tagging them up, bringing them down low for Lollipop's SMG. And they're not ready for the under palace position. Adren's going to trade back, but there's seven seconds left on the clock. VP, this bomb plant not going to come oh. through. So and close. they steal the four spy away. Yeah, you know, I mean, they just try and do like the classic misdirection over towards B with a with a fake getting thrown in there, and they rotate back to A. The problem is that Lollipop has just been allowed to go aggressive at ramp in these last few rounds, yep. and so he is that early warning system in place. The moment they spotted players in T spawn trying to be quiet about it, well, that left them with no time. So. Ooh. Now, they're trying to be a little bit faster in this round. They've already sprung down in towards you, mid, Sanji. but that nade, yeah, sorry, Sanji, bad. It was great watching you in this round, but my word, he gets deleted. Jaya's in with two, he's dropped the bomb, follows up with another. Namiga, they'll take themselves the ninth. Through the window, I, he, this is this is like whole uncharted waters for Jay. He's not <gasps> normally timing. this aggressive. Oh, and Jaya dear. just missed the timing. Oh, Jamie boy, let's see it. What have you got up your sleeve? He's going for a knife, and oh, there it is. You love it, you wear it. And Jame has just completely annihilated MDS in this round. They're wondering, like, Jame in, in our spawn? This is the fastest he's ever moved. And he does get <laughs> cut down immediately after. This is the VP I want to see is. more of. They took a risk, they took a chance, and it's worked brilliantly for them. Wow. Sanji comes in with two, and they put a tenth on the board. Bottles in the club, but it's Lollipop 2K. Trying to find a dub. Ooh. That's a start, it's just not a finish. Yeah, it does get traded by Jame, but that was the bomb spotted, and Jame is alone at ramp. I don't see him committing here, not without this connector support coming in at the same time, and the timing on this could be pretty favorable for VP. They have a timing Whoa. where they could have caught Speed Act, but he has Take gotten top. past. They now know 10 seconds on this clock, and the bomb plant will come in. Oh, that's no, it. no, Just run. no. Why? James run round to the wrong side. Sanji now trying to get the numbers oh, punched my. in. Bomb plant's denied the round. Should be won by Namiga on the back of time and they kill everyone anyway dying after time is buster the there why they're holding on to connector they're holding on to ramp there's 20 seconds left on this clock as vp try and make the push and they will get two of the kills required speed act rotating in 
And he removes Buster, leaving us in a two on three now for VP. A bomb plant found. Jane gonna set up towards CT. Kicker holding from ramp. These two isolated in their peaks and Jane gets broken off in the rest of the pack. Now Kicker trying to answer the call and he can't manage it. Did I say Virtus Pro was gonna win this? Yes. Yeah. I was fibbing, guys. It was all a joke. Ah, <laughs> yeah, say it. Around and that's originally, especially with the plant where it was, they weren't anticipating Palace to begin with. And now it's a fast A play here from VP, kicking things up a notch. Let's see how this one goes. Into the moors of Lollipop they go, and one by one, they get torn apart. Oh dear, it's all gone off the rails in this round for VP. Namiga, map point, 15 on the board, 15 to 10. And now they can reboost, but little do they know, the reposition has come through, and Lollipop was ready for that play. Almost on rails. The timing of that one is perfection for Namiga. Although that's good as well. Kick it walks out the palace. He catches Lollipop leaving. Buster has the bomb. He could lose the bomb. He could lose everything right now. Speed at peeking with the AWP. He's got it. But he's all alone on the A site. He's all alone with this package. Going back to spawn to fight. Adren's dead up in the ladder room. That's a further player down for VP. And this whole map could qu come crashing down into a close in this very round. They're trying to get the bomb back under control. Speed at hits a shot. He is low, but he's done damage. And can just decide to give up this bomb. That's 30 seconds. He's still going. He's still going for it. And Sanji does deal with him. But are they going to be ready for the two other players still inside of the site? For Namiga, MDS swinging on out. Gets the info that both players are coming from ramp. And this allows Jio to just sit and be patient. And he deals with them both. 16 to 10. VP. Looking to full execute, and here come the smokes. There's so much utility on this VP side. Two mollies as well, and an extra smoke. Not that that's even needed. Quick kills from Box through the smoke. Flashed as well. Can't even see his opponents, and Jo has got a similar situation as well. What a mop-up. What a mow-down. The flashbangs are avoided. Not going to get spotted. It's a safe, long spot for MDS, but he doesn't call. The boiler is open, and Speedak gets caught climbing up. Jame has the kill, and he's looking for a little bit more as well inside of this A site. Well, he's going to drop a smoke, as do normal people here on Inferno. Ooh. And in fact, he can't even get out in front of it. It's Dren. He's got the trigger fingers. Turning them into Twitter fingers, perhaps, later, should they be able to win up this series, and something you can do yourself. Hashtag ESL1. Now on the other side of it, you look at a round where Virtus Pro get the bomb planted and just two alive for Namiga. They could go for this. I say that now, just one alive. Box, 1v4, two rifles in the hands of Virtus Pro. I love squid, so. Like Sounds Calamari, good to me. I'm sure he's going to appreciate that when he has you in his, in his grasp. He's gained a bit of a foothold. And he might just be looking to, well, so I think to begin with, maybe a fake. But on the back of that kill, going in favor of Namiga at the B site. And with that one now coming through, Ooh. they know the players have rotated. And at the same time, they've lost a man over towards the A site. This is kind of falling apart now for VP. They had themselves a man advantage. Oh. Is something that could prove to be more uh, of a liability. Oh, a trend was running down for a second. Oh, the timing yep. couldn't have been worse for yeah. MDS. Kickert finds himself here in the water, in the pool itself. And so far, Lollipop has made this an even closer round. Amiga are going to try to stick the plan, excuse me, the fuse, Ooh. and almost. But that is not going to work out here. Lollipop here with an AD, AD at the top of the halls. And he's going to have a CZ to do it. It's just a testament as to what's going on. Kickert opening the door. Buster going to hold it open for the rest of the team. The bomb now all the way back towards the ramp itself. So they could just swoop it up. Ooh, he tries. He really does. But Lollipop takes him down. Won't even grab the MAC-10. Not worth it. As uh, he looks to get exits with this Deagle, but not expecting them hanging around in T-Spawn. That's Jame for you. He's always ready. He's always waiting. VP. They're leaving B as well. They're going to commit. Gionis is going out and about, and he's got the shot to Adren. Second chance to stand in this round. Motor Smoke is down. VP going to ball, uh, burst out the apartments, but they won't even get past the entrance. Geo trying to force fights. He's on his second. Eventually, Box is called into question, and he hits a shot. So does Jame. One-on-one -on -one here on the site while he waits for those rotations. Looking for the orb. Missed shot. No scope. And MDS is going to clean up the round, saving the AWPs for Namiga. They get away with both of them.
Another smoke down. This is good utility from Namiga. The AWP is playing aggressive, and he's got a two for one. Jo finding Adrenaline Sanji. Got a chance to back up towards the safe side, and he's found a third as well. Box on the boost finally shows his worth, and Jame, well, it's Jame time. 30 seconds on the clock. Region, they're losing against Simons. They're losing against your Navis, which is to be expected. And Speedak is here as well. Double AWP in B. Lollipop. Oh, he gets caught. That could force a rotate back. This is good timing for VP. Adren's going to fake the site. He spots a player on short as well. He's just going to try and buy time. He doesn't need to force kills immediately. His team are executing into a three on two. There's another for Adren. Reload in. And now it's the AWP once more for Geo. Yeah, dancing around this smoke and trying to no scope through it. Kicker, oh. bomb plant denied. And for James, he needs that bomb plant if he wants to win the round, but he can't. There's no time. He tries to put the numbers in. And VP, they're going to try and go Whoa. through this smoke. They try and pressure box, and they do manage to find him. Now, Jio left to hold the line here versus a VP that are bunched up, looking like they want to try and pick up the pace in this round. A much faster play from VP than we or Namiga are used to at this point in time. Ooh. There was almost a chance there for all mate Jio, but not quite able to find it. Lollipop and Speedak, they've just got to save. There's no chance for them in this round. Bomb plant found for VP and a fast B play gives them the answer here. That's it, that's the notion. And Box is gonna have the picking of the litter. One shot with AWP, two shots with AWP. Looks for a third, it's Jame there. An AWP Why? from the first half, Adrin. What? He's able to get a frag as well. This has turned into a 2v2 rather quickly. The damage, and they will walk through this smoke. NDS waiting for contact. The steps have been made. The noise has been heard. Smoke on the banana, but they don't need to worry about that position. They need to worry about Jane with the orb. Three peek in, and Adren will clean up the round. VP, they convert it. There's one on the other side, Speedak checks, but Jame tucks and he won't see anything. Kicker finding first blood up B, dropping the AWP. It will get retrieved, but a missed shot again, and they're getting closer and closer by the second. The no-scope's up for Box. He's looking for more damage onto Buster. They're going to try and commit with a bomb here, but through the smoke, Box is trying. He won't be able to connect anything more. This plant can be allowed for VP. Time is the real enemy in this round, and it's already ticked so low on this bomb as these players are arriving. If these kills aren't damn near instantaneous, then the round might fall apart on the back of it. And Adren with a stellar hold, three kills. Well, Harry, what kind of day are you having? Oh, my great day. It's a great day for some Counter-Strike, Trace. And Buster, well, he's opened this round up with a kill already. Oh, and no. a bit of re-aggression from VP. Oh, they all group no. up, they go down mid, and they're thinking, this is hilarious, guys. We're behind them. We're going to shut down the beat. Wait, hang on. They're in apartments. Oh, dear. And now this A plays <laughs> come in. Lollipop has spotted all these guys moving into the apps. He's taken up a bit of an aggressive foothold himself, and he's actually chasing this kill down. Now, he's caught a great timing into Boiler. Adren doesn't even look to be considering it. And what? Oh, what? Dear, oh, that's not what you wanted from Lollipop. MDS, it now all falls to him down in the pit. They're everywhere. They're in the ceiling. They're in the vents. And it's going to be Buster to remove him. Pistol round for VP. Oh, can't commit to the reload. No time for Buster. He's got to get these kills. He's got to offer some support here for VP. The SMG through the smoke. Sanji with a blind kill. He's down low, but the grenade won't finish the job. It actually misbounces back into the pool. Ollie's uh, Pop's got a kill on Buster. That's a gun given over and a chance to plant. 30 seconds. They don't have to rush it. They can focus on kills. And this is the kind of freedom that you have if you don't wait the time out for 10 seconds. You can actually take these fights. You can actually make it difficult for VP. They know Sanji's still here as well there's info from the Mega, so a fake plant to force a fight and they've won it as well it's the banana flank that could win the round kick could stop the bomb right here right now but he's been spotted now at a one-on-one -on -one, and he gets dropped by lollipop with three Dominga. <laughs> oh i don't know rick well box he's gonna open up top b right now who box oh rick eh. never heard of him oh that morty guy yeah 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 yeah, 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 yeah. It's anyway. the old B-Rush Trace. It's Buster alone at the back of the pop site. He's only got five kills to his name, but he's already found a sick. I say that. I mean, it's short-lived. It's only one. And that's not a lot, believe it or not. It's going to be a bomb plant from the Mega. And this is how Inferno can often be. It might be VP's first loss in 2020 on this map. Yeah, I think at this point, if you're v a lot of teams would buy here. I think if you're VP, you might want to eco this. You might want to go for pistol arm.
now, if they go there, VP are actually going to have you know, a chance to fight back, and they're going to flash aggressively around the corner. Dren's going for it. He's not going to get flashed, though. He just goes in dry. Buster doesn't have the utility for it, and that's a push that has left VP with a one-man defense in this bomb site. One man on either side, but Sanji wins his fight, and actually, they're going to double back into him. They know the orbs on B. They want to avoid it. So, Sanji, it's time for a big hold. It's time for a big play. Yep. Teammate Buster hasn't even begun to make his way over just yet with that first kill that's going to help and now they're going to know where he is will he get the third that does happen virtus pro sanji more importantly and now a ct smoke gets thrown in but this hasn't prompted any rotations there's so little time that vp feel content to just sit inside of the a site and they would be right in that assumption this is the mow down everyone gets slaughtered chayo coming in from the b side rotation is a long way away and he can't even play into this round there's no time left so an 11th on the board for vp Pick up the pace. A wall of smoke's coming out here for Niga. But it's Jane. He's out here in a much larger way. Two kills to his name. The second one he was flash for. You can see in the indicator in the top right. And now he's going to look for a third. He should be able to get it with ease. Will he get four and five, though? That's the question. Doesn't quite have a beat on him just yet. Knows that these trades haven't gone in the way of Virtus Pro. Now he's just left his own devices. Lollipop eventually Ooh. finds Jane dancing around a smoke, and it's going to be a grenade that ends the round out. We have a 12-12 game, y'all. Creeping and crawling over towards Long. Box is deep up. He can wrap this site. James giving away his position. He has to try and escape. He gets tagged on his retreat. The bomb's been dropped as well, and time again is a problem. 20 seconds, the trades are in. Everyone is dead in and on this site. This rotation didn't come through, and Adren is now uh, double, uh, doubling down, coming in through the archway smoke. His teammate and Banana, and a two-on-three retake here for VP. The Astralis roster. An Amiga waiting on the other side of it. They might be looking to go through on the Here back of this flashbang from the man in Banana. Lollipop throwing that one over, and it's Speed Act to open the round up. Buster trying to hold the line, but he's not able to do so, and this B-site crumbles under the pressure that Namiga put on it. Adren, five points of health, tagged down earlier on in the round by the suicide mission from Box. In the game, we've had streaks of rounds with both teams. Namiga going on a five-round streak. This third man rotation in the form of Sanji. So the timing here is perfect for Namiga. They're going to catch this A site oh. with only two players to hold it oh down. But dear. Sanji barreling through that smoke, dealing with the flank. Lollipop gets shut down and VP, they reach that point. Almost rotates, but he does choose to stay. And Geo he spots an arm and a leg and a head, but he can't hit either of them. Only damage done onto Buster. Now the player in the site turns around. He's trying to avoid the flashes, and maybe he should have been out in the fight because uh -oh. Geo's found him and the man in sight. Two kills into B. Sanji's rotation has been cut off in the ruins. They might know he's here. Now they definitely do with the spam. Trying to hold on. It's been a bit of a wild ride thus far, and VP look. King to throw them through a bit of a loop. Kicker providing the first. Oh, Sanji baby. with the follow-up. Lollipop holding from Banana, and it all falls on to Jane to deny overtime, but he can't get it done. We're heading to OT Woo. here. James waiting. Here's the Molotovs. No flashes to follow. He's got full vision here. Molly's going to push him, though, and Geo's got the kill. Another man at the back of the site, and Geo goes wide, but the Molotov that, th that was thrown by Buster has cut off these two Ts. The flank is in, and with 20 seconds, they've dropped the bomb. MDS needs control. He needs the kills. He's got one. There's a second man here. He's running forward. Can't choose which site to go to. Kicker doesn't want to fight in case he's being held, and he does get the kill. Yeah. Peeking out at the right time and getting the first of OT. There is no margin for error. And that's certainly going to help. Box and MDS finding the openers. Buster delaying this bomb plot and lines himself up three. Not enough time. Well, sorry, there is enough time to get the bomb down. He didn't buy enough time. A little strange. First peek going in the way of Kicker, and that leaves Lollipop. He's going to hide in dark right now. Things are a little emo for him. He finds himself. The only one around. Easy kill on Kicker. He was already low. Here comes Jane. And he can't do it. 16 nice. for Namiga. We have a tie game still. To retrieve this AWP at the very, very least. And, you know, him being low, helped out at least by the... Okay. Box has been tagged in through the wall down in pit. This AWP has already found a nice bit of damage in the round. And now, tagged up even lower is Box. Still alive, but only briefly. A Dren out from what? Palace. Speed Act gets deleted. It's all on Chayo. He's got a lot to do. And nothing to get it done with. 
Defuse for VP. They don't really have many choices here, so they try and get through, and they do best box. Jio's still alive, Ooh. but only briefly. It's a dread to deal with him. Speedak, the first man to arrive on this rotation, and he's gonna be the only man here for a while. That is until he's shut down. It's a far better round, and it's because they actually had time to, to focus on kills and not just to, you know commit to the bomb plant. This retake is still on, though, and they've got to be careful. Namiki coming in for coffins, and they got another kill. Jame is dead. There's a man in the pit. Kicker with a spray, and he's transferred well. Sanji will assist on the second. Kicker's low. Yeah, a lot of depth, a lot of numbers. But it's actually going to be Speedak who finds himself in hot water in this round. And Ooh. oh, Sanji and with another. This here, here we go. could be the straw that breaks the camel's back. Namiga, they were able to get us to an overtime, but they might not be able to get it across the line as that belongs to VP. They say sight now under question. Jayo trying to hold the line. Oh, does push up and into the crosshair of Jamie goes. It's actually his teammate, his friend, Jayo, 1v4, getting wrapped, should get shut down, and it's Jane to deliver us to Vertigo, 19 to 17. And that was, well, this team under Avangar were frequenting it at that event, playing against Fury in the final. So just something to keep in mind. The, uh, VP, they've been playing this map since it dawned on our screens. Let's see if VP are able to build anything up themselves. A dread does get cut down, and oh, it's a little bit messy there. Finally, the kill comes in, and a bomb plant now found here for nice. Vertus Pro. Those nades do a lot of damage onto the plant, and they've become a real common sight to see here on Vertigo, because it is just free damage in a site that's so hard to retake. And Amiga, while well, they're navigating it well, this smoke is a bit of a gap in it. James not going to look to use that gap. Instead, he plays around this smoke, using it as a bit of a shield to disguise his movements. And now that he's been spotted, he's on to three. They tap the bomb. There is a kit on Speedak, but he's hunting this kill down, and he will get it. I think there's just enough time left for the defuse yeah. with the kit. So Namiga getting the pistol out on the board, making that retake happen. VP wanted to split this mid to B play, and they still can, they still might, and they probably will. Actually, I say that, doubling back towards A, where MDS finds himself aggressively. Oh, he finds man. two, gets a chance to back up. He hears the first steps, he knows he's ha they're handing him down, and they will get the trade without him finding a third. That's fine. The info is there for an Amiga, and they can set up on the site ahead of time. But meanwhile, again, 30 seconds on the clock. They're not within radius of planting the bomb just yet, and that's going to prove to be quite fatal. Adren. And the coveted number of 10 has hit the clock. <laughs> and finally, it is now able to be attempted to plant here for the side of Virtus Pro. In fact, they're going to tap it, create themselves an even bigger risky. problem. No! And another why? tap. Things do get weirder what? somehow, some way, with one second left on the clock. Virtus Pro to have to play more passive. And you might think, well, okay, then, well, then surely they can push B, surely they can push mid. But VP haven't set the precedent of A rushing. They've set the precedent of holding all of these choke points early on. So you're really kind of shut out of any chance to go aggressive here if you're an Amigi. You're just having to react to what VP are doing. And, you know, when it comes to playing their own game, VP are very, very comfortable yeah. there. They might not even get away with it because Jame is hunting. He is the master of Jame time. It's not, it's not box time, mate. No one's ever called it that. They are that patient in holding this default. Box is going to push in front of it. Flash is good. And the kill still comes through regardless. It will be traded. Dren doubling down as well, finding MDS. Will they be ready for the AWP? Also in a similar position. VP. This is so painful to play against. How do you even react here? Because you're still holding if you're VP. You're still not even pushing this orb. Finally, it's found a gap. It's found an angle. But it's only a fake as Adren offers up his life. B has already been taken. Buster got a pick here. Now holding an even thinner gap here. Buster Ooh. does manage to slip by and gets into the site. James planting mm. the bomb. And I love that. James the man getting the plant, but Buster is the guy who crosses. And usually, you know... Speedak going to try and go aggressive, dodges the flashbang, but a peek follows. Jame misses the shot. It's Speedak with the first. The boost actually does come through, but this time it actually has results in favor of the Mega. Peeks off the back of it. Trade available, and Adrain gets them both. He's been really good in this series, keeping VP in this round. Him and Buster now have to find Speedak, but the AWP is already on the short side. The trade is also there. Buster in a one-on-two. Max money. Go for this every single day. Geo. 
Hide in by the boost. Buster can jump across, or he can just stick the pirate to fake first. 10 seconds. Forces the fight. Geo goes out wide, and Buster gets the kill from the back of the site. He's now in a one on one with a molly, with a smoke. Lollipop running on rotation, not being quiet about it, but he will get the kill. His first kill in the map, keeping Namiga. The value of this, again, is, is, is it can make Namiga think it's B still. They don't know how many players are here for BP. Good push from MDS, gets ahead of the flashbang and finds Jame walking up onto ramp. Buster looking for a B picks. He hasn't cleared the corner and he will regret that one. Box with two, should get wall banged out of this round on the reload. Kicker does find the kill, but Lollipop is still here and he's gonna respond. AK traded by Jame, checking the corner, but not getting the kill. And that's everything dropped to the feet of Namiga. Weapons galore. Until they stop, of course. Oh, wow, that stoppage time might only be temporary. Kicker is deep within this short smoke. He waits for it to fade, but he does get removed by MDS. A Dren now picking up the pace and laying waste to this A site. It's a Dren with a double. Lollipop and Geo left in for the retake, but Adren is not stopping. Third in the round. Geo left up in a 1v4, and this might have to be a save here. Catches Sanji heading into the elevator room, and actually, this bomb yet to get into the A bomb site. Leading by example. Nine rounds for VP. Namiga and the A holds, nor the retakes are working out for them. That's a nice start. MDS finds a gap. And he exploits it to take down Kickard on the ramp. But the Miga, they've had plenty, plenty of man advantages that they haven't been able to close, rather. That will certainly help as Speedak drops a Dren towards A. He's been... They did not forfeit that. They did not head back to B. In fact, they are three deep over here, and they have their sights set on A. Fast shot from Speedak. Now he knows. The hit is on. Sanji crosses into sight to get traded out. Just Jane. And he gets wall banged. And surely <laughs> that's going to hurt his feelings. That's sick. Speedak, offer us up a bit more of that. And Amiga might still have a chance here on what? Vertigo. A real wow. change in pace, but it's Speedak trying to put the brakes on them again. This time, it's him to get broken down. And the AWP of Jame rings on out with another kill found. VP, they are very swift in their response in this round. Yeah. Hasn't registered it yet. He's still going into the site. He's still looking. What's he doing? What box got planned for us? He's looking around, but no one's giving him any more fights. Yeah, no. And they hunt him, they <laughs> find a little, him. A little was ambitious. A it was He's a little ambitious. Really? Yeah, I, I like the pace there, Harry. You put it right. VP, you know, they, they can run these fast rounds. Great flashbang from Jane and double entry from Adren. He's just going to do it again. It's the exact same as the last round. A wall bang kill for Sanji, a headshot for Adren. It's just looking Ooh. like deja vu, and Sanji's doubled up with two VP. Looking for 11 rounds at the end of the first half, and there's not much that can stand in their way today. It's not optimal, actually. You won't get to take those into the pistol round. Here comes Box. Oh, He's going to be the first victim. Nice. Will Buster find the second under Lollipop? No, actually a trade. But all of it in vain. Jame coming through big. On the top floor, Trace. That's where all the cool things are. Like the bomb site, Sanji. Oh dear, that was a bit of a mess. Gonna get overwhelmed. Buster finds one. Jay with the back of B is trading places with the T's, Ooh. giving them the sight, but fighting for his life. The bomb has been dropped and he's found another one. Buster assisting in the process. Geo, oh, the Tech 9. It's a fickle beast. It's a cruel mistress. And it's Virtus Pro with the 12th round. Well, here's Jay. His life is CSGO. And he's looking for this kill. He's opened the round up with one. Lollipop has come in and deleted the man with the Deagle. However, this is still in the advantage of VP in a very, very big way. The bomb plant is certainly going to be helpful for Namiga in terms of allowing them one nice. last hurrah before this map might come to a close. Jane continuing oh. to lay down the pain. And Jane, he's like he's playing a game that's on rails. He just goes from one kill to the next to the next. It's match and series point. Four players here for VP in the site. Quite the setup, quite the stack. With the kicker, it's gone straight away. Oh, what a climb for Box. He goes above and gets a kill on the railing. Five on three. This is a good round for the Meager. And VP have already thrown in the towel. They've already called the save. They're going to be. So MDS plays it safe, stays alive. Five on the board for the Meager. So if anything, the pressure is off in a way. But it's also Ooh. very truly on. Buster taking a fight down ramp. 
Getting some damage onto MDS. Walking through a smoke, and they found a timing again. Box with a double opener. He is full of them. Adren is still here, though. They haven't cleared up this kill, and they might not be able to, because he's dropped the bomb, and a man with it. Oh, dear. Adren has control over the package. Does he want to hang around if he takes a shot? Gio doesn't want to rush it, though. He waits for Adren to make the mistake, and he's got the kill. Moving out for okay. another. Second kill for Gio, and Buster in a one-on-three to save this map, to save this series. It's not happening. Yes, it is. He's looking to save. Oh, no, this Namiga comeback is happening. Yes. Whether maybe. you want it to or not, Hugo B. Ooh. Byron. Wait, they ran out of A. They had B, and MDS pushed up, but Buster's backed out. Could do something awe inspiring to pick up this 16th and secure the victory for VP. Hello. That's yeah, a start. Busted lollipop, and now just Geo oh, left to boy. B. Oh, this is it. Tapping the bomb, oh, he but he's jumped. made noise. Kind of giving up the illusion that he's sticking it there. She peeking from ramp, hasn't fired a bullet yet. Now finally does. Buster oh, swings on out oh, and he gets the future. him. VP in a 1v2. They find this series. They lock in that semi-finals appearance.